Hello fellow manga readers, welcome to the first episode of Collection Review. Uh, in the Discord this was actually a video idea and I thought it was great because you know you have these rate your setups. I've never really seen a collection review video. So maybe there is, maybe I've just not seen it. But I really would like to review your guys' collections because you have been posting so many collections in the Discord which are so good and some could be improved. So uh, here I am trying to give my honest tips and tops about your setup. So let's get started with the first setup. The first setup is from Dan Man T, 1981 times two. Let's have a look at your setup. All right, for Dan's setup, we have two photos. This is the first one. And as you can see, he has only just started his collection, which is not a bad thing at all because everybody needs to start somewhere. I was also uh, starting out with like, um, I believe what, six, it was six books from AnimeCon last year. That's why I started. So uh, anyway, let's start off from the top left. Uh, we have Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Editions 1 and 2. I'm jealous. I have two, three, and three. Stupid mistake. But uh, yeah, what can I say? They are really expensive. But if you do get a good deal on them, it's a great manga. It's a, well, it's a great manga in general. You have the singles, you have the box set, you have the three in ones. But this one's by far the best quality. Like the best quality print, the best quality paper, and most importantly, well, about this edition anyway, it's a full metal edition. It is a hardcover single. What more could you want? This thing is proper heavy. It feels feels like it's quality. It has a nice print on it. I'll grab volume two, actually three, for you right here. And this is heavy for a single, okay? You have these reflections on the front. You have the reflections on the spine. You have some symbol on the back. So, and you also have some colored pages as well, I believe. Do you? Yeah, you also have some colored pages. So that's great, but it does cost 20 US dollars, which is a lot for a single. But I personally think you do get your money's worth, and I think that's a great start way to start your collection by reading a classic like that in his new package. So I hope you got a great deal on that, uh, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Then we have The God's Lie, which is actually one of my favorite books that come in, uh, which have the entire story in one book. Uh, because, you know, you just pay for one volume, entire story, done. No 20 volume, no 30 volumes, one volume, and you're set. And this story is amazing, alright? It's, it's a solid 8 or 9 out of 10 for me. Great story. Um, and there's going to be a future video for my favourite books to start your collection. So if you want to see that, please subscribe, like the video. Collection video, my collection, you're going to grade my collection at 1k. So. That'd be great, share with your friends. But anyway, uh, yeah, a great edition. I'm, I don't see The God's Light enough in many collections. I really want to see it a lot more because it's really good. Then we have Death Note All-in-One Edition. And this one is a bit controversial because Death Note is a great manga. That's, that's a fact. The paper is almost see-through, all right? I made this joke in a Discord. You don't have to turn the pages and just look right through them. But I, I can hate on that part. But honestly, value is unbeatable. 12 volumes for 13 euros, brand new. Like this thing, you can see it has creased a bit. Maybe it's just the camera angle. It looks creased to me. I would be very afraid of reading this. I would crease it. However, like I said, 30 euros for 12 volumes, 2400 pages, amazing looking spine. Like this spine, I don't like the spine of the singles personally. Black editions are fine, but this spine is by far the best looking one in my opinion. And you can just take the entirety of Death Note anywhere. When you go on holiday, bring 12 books, no, no, no. Bring the box set, no, no, no. You bring the all-in-one edition. So, for some, this would, keep, this would be a great deal. And especially if you're starting on a budget with your collection, the all-in-one edition, you can't go wrong with it, okay? Paper quality might be super thin. The paper quality might be really thin. But you do get a lot of things back for it and you have a lot more money to spend on other manga. So, talking about other manga, we have Vagabond over here, volume 1 and 2. As you can see, I have to complete. It's one of my favorite manga out there. The art is 
also one of the best. Great story, unfortunately not finished because Mr. Takehiko had some health issues. But uh, it's great to see you starting with that because Vagabond is not really a manga that I would recommend someone to read who's just started his collection. Because on one hand, great story, great art, but I just had to reread re -read some things just to understand it. It's quite complicated, uh, but it's a, it's a great story nonetheless. And it's great to see it in a new collection, you know, for once. As you don't really see that often uh, as the first couple of volumes. That's great. Good for you. And they're also a really good value because these are three volumes. They have colored pages, high quality pages, more than 700 at that, for like, you get them, get them for like 13 to 15 euros right now, right now, which is crazy because the singles, man, those covers are amazing, but those can go to like thrice as much as this. And um, yeah, what can I say? They just look awesome. They, even the spies, they line up amazingly well. Um, and uh, the only thing I have to say is the edition itself is not that great when it comes to quality. The covers on the three and ones don't really look that great. And they tend to fall apart because of the glue. Uh, and there's something wrong with the glue. And you can just hold it by the cover, shake it, and the entire book falls out. So uh, I've seen some horror on that as well. So I hope it doesn't happen to you. But nonetheless, great value for a great manga. So good on you. Now we have four volumes of Zelda. I don't know why they are all the way back there, but I heard, I don't know if, if it was from you in the Discord, but I heard from someone in the Discord that Zelda wasn't really that great when it came to manga quality. So first, personally, I, I have never read Zelda manga. I only, uh, I only played the 3DS game, Ocarina of Time, I believe it was called. Uh, so I can't really say much for that. Uh, I don't really understand why I have so much space between your manga though. Um, next we have Comic-Con Communicate, which is um, a really one of the most popular uh, comedy mangas out there, I'm pretty sure. Um, and uh, yeah, they're coming out with new volumes really quickly. Um, personally, I don't like the look of the spines. I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. Doesn't Spines don't really line up, and I, I don't know, I just don't like the look of the spine, that's all. Uh, and also, I know the guys might not be happy about this, but I'm not really that big a fan of Komi. I don't know, I like horror, I like comedy, but you also have Grand Blue Dreaming, you have lots of other manga with humor, and I just don't really see the appeal, but maybe I need to just try it again at some point. I have the first volume, I read it, I have it in my collection over there, I believe. But uh, yeah, might we read at some point, I just really didn't see how amazing it was as people say it is. But it's just a first volume, what can I say? So, one till three, I have Cells at Work, which I believe is a volume, which is a manga about how your body works, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, might pick that up. Uh, looks cool though. Uh, one th couple things that I would like to see changed personally um, is how, the manga, you know, the height don't, doesn't really match. You have here Full Metal Editions, then The God's Lie, which is a lot lower. Uh, then you have Death Note, which is the same height as The God's Lie, so I don't know what's all the way on the right. Then you have Vagabond, which is a high volume. Then you have Zelda in the back. I don't know if it's actually lower because it's way further back, so I don't... I think it's actually the same height. Why are they all the way in the back? I don't understand. Uh, then you have Komi, the small ones at the bottom. And uh, Cells at Work, which is bigger, so why didn't you put Cells at Work next to Vagabond? Or The God's Lie next to Comey Can't Communicate? I, I don't really understand, personally, alright? I know you want, might want to buy more Vagabond, so there's nothing next to that. Um, but like, you would also, also want to buy more Comey, right? So why is there Cells at Work next to that? I, I don't really understand how you um, use your space, uh, let's just say that. Uh, but there is an updated image, so let's check the second image and see how it has changed over time. Now here we have the second picture, this is the updated one, and as you can see, things have changed. Oh! Uh, quite a lot actually. I think a lot of that has actually been solved with this picture, because we have Uzumaki here, which is the same height. By the way, also a great um, way to start your Junji Ito collection, because uh, it's a lot of stories, but they all result they all revolve around spirals. Um, I haven't finished mine personally because it was actually, I picked it up quite late. 
and I can kind of got uh, you know it spiraled back into my bookcase. I didn't really it was too much spirals for me, but hey, it is John G has great art, and this is no different. So Uzumaki, great same height as Fullmetal Alchemist, like that. Um, oh, you actually did <laughs> ask. Okay, uh, the gods lies next to Komi, same height, like that. I don't know. I see the ancient Magus Bride over there. Why is it not up there? I didn't understand. It's the same height. Why you do this? Anyway, um, I was wrong about the height of cells at work. Apparently, Vagabond is bigger. Maybe put cells at work next to the Full Metal editions. Maybe those are just as hard. It's hard to see in this picture uh, because I don't. I don't have cells at work to show you how big it is. But I would put the ancient Magus Bride over there. And then the death note next to it, that's fine, looks good. Um, I like the cat by the way, nice cat. But uh, yeah, cells at work, it's, it's a bit awkward over there. I, I take back what I said before, I thought it was the same height, but it isn't. So I would move that up next to the Fullmetal Alchemist. Even though you do like to keep your uh, hardcover separate uh, by the looks of it, I would put it there, I think, because this looks awkward to me. And now we have some games next to that, that's cool, we have a 3DS or something like that, nice, nice, something more than just manga, more personality, I like that. So overall, you're a Star Steam Collector, you have amazing, you have your gateway into Junji Ito, you have, your, you have your first single hardcovers, which I don't really see often with new collections, so that's cool. All in one edition, great edition, uh, The Gods Lie, great value, uh, Komi Can't Communicate, also good comedy, Vagabond, amazing art story, you have you have a nice bit of, um, you have a lot of variation and I like that. Um, you also show your personality through your games, um, Mario, I see a cat over there, um, so I like that, I like your, I like how it looks, you know, it's a, it's a start, but it's a good one, man. You, you, you really bought the right way to get into this, so for that, for what you have, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 right now. Because you, with the money you, you had, you really did use it well. And you used your space well as well. You know, you you, you, you bought some volumes of Vagabond, you bought some volumes of Full Metal, you bought, bought some Komi. Often with new setups, you see volume 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 of different series. And you're actually continuing on fewer series, which I really like to see. So, again, 8 out of 10, good job. Uh, I hope to see you uh, in the future episodes of this series. That would be great with an updated one so we can show this one uh, back. So that's great. Thank you very much for submitting it to this episode. Next we have the collection review of Gabriel517. For this one we have three pictures and there's one thing I want to say which I didn't clarify. Next, In the next episode if you want to submit it, first join the Discord because there's a there's a text channel, there's actually an image channel for uh, collections. But please only landscape photos and please close-ups or at least high quality ones. Because I can, there's some books that I just can't read for some pictures. Uh, for example, these on the top right, I, I know that's bleach, but the one on the left, I have no clue. Something by vertical. As well as on the top left here, very hard to see. So please improve your camera quality. Or something like that because this is hard, really hard to see for me anyway Gabriel let's start we have first up the first books I can't really see the first four uh, there's Tokyo Ghoul illustrations that I can see then we have Origairi which is nice the first light novels I see um, in someone's collection it's a great rom-com I have it almost complete uh, only read volume one but great rom-com uh, we have Food Wars 1 till 32 by the looks of it Great art, great comedy, great competitions, I like it. Uh, we have Komi, 1 till 7, another Komi fan, very cool. Uh, some book by Vertical, I have no clue what that is, I can't read it, really can't. Uh, then we have Bleach, the first omnibus, I had that complete in omnibuses, I sold it afterwards without reading it because my god, the paper quality was so trash. That's just me, that was maybe just my, my units, all of them. That would be kind of weird, weird coincidence, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I would personally get the singles, but that's just me. If you like the the omnibuses and that's cool, um, yeah, you do you. Uh, if you like Bleach, then that's fine. You'll save you some money. 
Next shelf, we have Junji Ito. I have no clue what book that is. I've never seen it before. I can only read Junji Ito, so, uh, alright. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what that is. Then we have Gyo Uzumaki. Uh, Gyo is uh, more not about spirals, but about fish. I actually read that one fully. The side story at the end was better than the story itself, but hey, it's still good. Nice hardcover. No Longer Human, also a hardcover. Amazing story by Osama Dazai. Um, I would definitely recommend this one. It's a, it's a really, really good story. Maybe not for well for a beginner. You've, you're you're not a beginner by the looks of it. But it's a really it's what it's my favorite Junji Ito volume right now. Let's just say that. You have Dissolving Classroom. I love how that volume looks. It's, it's pretty expensive for just a small single, but it looks amazing. We have the Tokyo Ghoul. I hope you bought the box set because that's really expensive. If it's not 20th Century Boys, my boy, good job. My favorite series, what can I say? Uh, I love to see that. The Perfect Editions as well. I, I like how the singles look, but I just prefer the, the Perfect Editions by Viz. Um, next, Shelf. We have Devilman, the com classic collection you have to complete. I'm missing volume one, so good job on that. The spine on these looks so damn beautiful. Honestly, I haven't read mine yet, obviously, because I only have volume two, but it looks so nice. And it's so nice quality. Anyway, next to that, we have Villain Saga Volume 1, 2, 3, and 8. I don't know what happened to Volume 4, 5, 6, and 7, but uh, I'm great, great to see that someone uh, else likes Villain Saga. I like to see that a lot more. You know, you, you see, it's, it's not like it's, it's like an unknown series, but I like to see it a lot more because it's really good. Uh, so, yeah, I would get uh, Volume 4, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Uh, I guess Volume 8 was on sale, it's what, which is why I picked it up. I hope it is, because this is not really a good skip, I don't think. But anyway, good on you for collecting um, Villain Saga. Next shelf, I can't read anything. Uh, actually, I think those are just books, I hope, because I really can't read what that says. Let's just review this picture first. Right, what I would like to see. What, what, one thing that I do like, what I see now, is you try to level out the volumes very nicely. You start very high and then you get lower, 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 and then there's just one straight line. I love that. Uh, as well as on the next, the next cabinet thing, you have all of Junji Ito, like that. Then you have Tokyo Ghoul 20th Century Boys. Uh, yeah, cool, okay, same height, I like it. Uh, Devil Man and Vagabond, not quite the same height, but hey, you tried, looks good. Um, Let's see, what could we change? One thing I would do, I don't know what those books are. I would move them somewhere else, personally, um, and put the light novels in a separate one, because I don't know, I just like my light novels separated from the manga. That's just my thing. If you want to keep it this way, that's fine. I think it looks better. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not really much to say. I mean, you don't really have much room left, but you have two photos left, so maybe you have in different pictures. But uh, yeah, there's not much to say. I like it from this picture. So uh, yeah, let's get to the next one. Here we have the second picture. Um, by the looks of it, the same cabinet, which I like. Um, oh, I was right, the Tokyo Ghoul box set. That's good for your wallet. Um, the top shelf, again, I can't read any of that. I think those are foreign because I have never seen those and that's a different design. Uh, top shelf is entirely sealed, I believe. So that's uh, interesting. Next shelf though, my god you like Inyo Asano and my god I do too. I'm a big fan and so is my Discord. <laughs> we have Solanin, again, great uh, story in just one book. You just buy, buy one book, entire story, boom, done. Cheap, great when you're starting out your collection. Love it. Same about Downfall, one volume. Maybe don't pick it up when you just start your collection. It's about uh, the life of a manga cat that is not all fun and games, uh, yeah. Same with Goodnight Pun Pun, it's not, it's not just one volume, but uh, depression, okay? Um, like I said in my collection video. But um, yeah, you also have, I think that's What a Wonderful World, um, and so some other volume, which I actually don't know what that is, so. Uh, hmm. But anyway, uh, Goodnight Pun Pun, I think I actually like that edition. I, I prefer the English one, where you can actually see Pun Pun. But these look uh, pretty cool as well. And you have Pun Pun, so that's a plus in my book. A girl on the shore. 
It's an awkward height, I know. Uh, I, I don't like it, how it's smaller. But anyway, you have that too. I see Blam over there. That's cool, a single is still available in your language. That's cool. Uh, we have Erased in the singles. Wow, okay. I might want to learn your language uh, after all. The one that's next to that, I can't, I, I can't decipher what that is. Um, I see in this one is the Promised Neverland. Great series, great show, and actually just finished in Japan. It's about to finish in English. Uh, great, like that. Maybe One Punch Man on that? I'm not sure. Please get a different camera or just make clearer pictures because this is really hard to read for me. But um, yeah, let's get to the uh, let's let's see how this looks. Um, it looks like you need more shelf space because you're using the top. Um, on top of the shelf for your books. I wouldn't do that even though you can see here that I have that. I'm I'm going to expand my uh, my uh, I'm going to get some new bookcases so don't worry I'm, I'm fixing that. I'm not a hypocrite or anything. Uh, but uh, I do like that you have the box on top. I would do that too. But I would get those a different spot because they deserve to be in a bookcase. Uh, I like how you um, you know also sorted them by height uh, even the, the Ineo Sano shelf like that. Uh, you have Blam, Erased, also nice. You you really like to diff to sort on height. I think that's great. Looks nice. You even have some space left on every shelf, almost every shelf. Uh, so you can expand. And I think it just looks really good. It doesn't have much to say. It looks really nice. Next picture. Right, here is the third and last picture from Gabriel. We have Kurokono Basket, the th singles. We have some other series which I have no clue what that is. I can't see that. Um, yeah, let's see if I can... Oh, these might actually be Italian. Is this Italian? I have no clue. Hey, we have the God's Light again. Cool, I haven't seen that a lot. So, uh, nice to see. I believe it looks it looks a lot like a God's Light, so I think that's uh, what it is. Full Metal Alchemist, that looks interesting. Okay, Full Metal Alchemist, so we have... My Hero Academia, we have Made in Abyss. These all look so different uh, compared to the English versions. You actually have a, a single of the English version sealed on top of that. I think actually all of these are, si are sealed or... Yeah, I think they are. Cool, you, you keep them sealed, that's, that's interesting. Um, I don't know if we have to blur this thing out over there. Anyway, we have a happiness can, which I think it's really cool. I don't know if that's officially by them, but uh, I like that manga. So good. Um, yeah, I am English, so I don't know what some of these volumes are, uh, but I, they're very thin. <laughs> but I do like how you, uh, again, sorted it by height, except for this one. This one is a bit of a pain. But hey, I think you, you really sorted it out well. You even have some things on the side. Uh, I really like the setup. There's not really much to say. The only thing I could say is that the bookcase itself, you don't really have that much space left. You have some space to finish the series, but if you want to start a new series, you don't really have space for that. So I would maybe grab another cabinet with that, because you're uh, running low on space if you're uh, going to start a new series, like I said. Because it's, it's more like you have an entire genre, or an entire writer, like Noki Urasawa, Junji Ito, if you put all those in different shelves, then this is going to be a pretty expensive one because you are going to, you know, this is this is not that much space that you have, right? So I would personally, uh, personally I prefer the Billy Cup cabinets because you just have all this space and you can just put it in whatever you want, but I, you know, these are different, that's cool. Um, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just grade it. Uh, I, I see uh, you're not just starting your collection, you've already been doing this for quite a while. Um, I would say also an 8 out of 10, because you use your space really well uh, with the cabinets you have, uh, except for this bit. Um, but yeah, I, I like your collection, you sorted it out well, um, and it just, it's well presented. So, congratulations on your 8 out of 10 and thank you very much for your submission. Let's get to the next contestant. Here we have a collection review from Guy, which is an amazing name because I now exactly know who this is. 